Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen's World and welcome back to part two of my Disneyland Paris vlog. In today's video, we will be going to Walt Disney Studio Park. Join me as we explore the park, dine at Bistro Chez Remy and tour Hotel Cheyenne. This is our view from our room, building 20. And we're in the wild, wild west, baby. It is day two of our Disneyland trip. We woke up um, early today. Actually, we've been waking up early every day, despite these hard days that we've been living. And we had Woody outside of the hotel for a selfie, uh, a selfie spot. So we took some pictures with Woody. And now we are going to go, um, there's like a Remy's vegetable garden and some other cool little spots at Hotel Cheyenne. So we're gonna check that out. And then we're going to head to uh, the other park. What's the other park called? Walt Disney Studios. Because that one closes early. So I think today is going to be a resting day. Okay, we made it to uh, Remy's Vegetable Garden, also known as Le Potager de Remy. And let's see what they have in here. Well, maybe nothing's in season because these... Uh, flower beds or vegetable beds or whatever. They look a little empty. There is an apple tree with some apples that have fallen. Maybe we can pick some of these up for lunch or something. Wow, this part is pretty cool. There are teepees. I think these are the teepees that they were supposed to have uh, at Fire Festival that like the VIP tents that you can sleep in. We made it through security check, which took one whole second. So they are scanning health passes at the front before you even go through security. And we just flashed our vaccination card and they're like, all right, come on in. Actually, when we show them our card, they do look a little confused, right? But it works. <laughs> so far, one of my favorite things at Disney Village is this giant mushroom at the Rainforest Cafe and this giant mushroom. So back to what I was saying about uh, Disney Village being a little bit outdated. I mean, just look at the, uh, you know, the people that they have in Planet Hollywood and it's people from Twilight. So I'm gonna rank all of the Disney, like, uh, what's it called? Disney Springs, Disney Village, and Downtown Disney. So one, the best is Disney Springs. Two is Downtown Disney in Anaheim. And three is this one here. We're in, baby. We're in. That was really, that was fast and easy and relatively painless. Oh, look! Bonjour, Mickey. On our way to go to Remy's Ratatouille ride uh, because I'm pretty sure that one's gonna be super busy. And today the park closes at 6:30, so basically where everybody else right now is trying to go is where we want to go. Look, we made it to the Ratatouille area. Look, 
It's Gusto's. We did it. We're in line. Let's see how long it takes. What's the time right now? 9:30. It's 9:30. Eh bien, vous ne pouviez pas mieux tomber. Tout le monde sait que la meilleure cuisine du monde se déguste ici à Paris. Et ce soir, Rémi, le plus grand cuisinier de la capitale, s'apprête à vous concocter une petite merveille. Tout le monde peut cuisiner, mais personne ne cuisine comme Rémi. Bistro chez Remy, which we're having dinner, or sorry, actually, a early lunch, 3.45. Aren't all these little details so cute? Like with the little, little Remy's, the little rats, holding the wine bottle. Oh. God, look at all this Remy merch. So cute. Oh. Also, there's a note saying that we kindly ask you to touch only the products you intend to buy. Uh oh. We are leaving uh, Paris <laughs> and we're going into Toy Story Land. Look at this. I think we're in like a, a barrel, like the monkeys in a barrel barrel. Welcome. This is pretty cool. We made it to Cars Land. All right, I'm not quite sure what ride we got on, but it's in Cars Land and it's called Road Trip. It's a giant lug nut. So big, it's nuts. Catch out! Woo! Route 66. She is a full of the crazy, beautiful thing. Ta! Oh! Why is the theming so cute everywhere? We are here at the Laugh and Go uh, food truck. It's sponsored by the Laugh and Cow. Yes. And it's almost 11.30. We've been here since 9.30 and there's no food place open except for like burgers out in the front. And I don't eat burgers in the morning. I don't know about you. Can't even get a crap. We're so hungry. So we're literally gonna wait until 11.30 and be the first customer. It's 11.25. Well, that's assuming that they even open at 11.30. We're taking the rest. I wouldn't give a lot of money for that. Oh, there's not that many food options here. We have we have lunch reservations at Chez Lemi at 3.45, but hello, we need to eat. Okay. But you must look at the decoration of this place. It's like a, uh, it's a package of laughing cow cheese. Look at the slices. Oh my god, so cute. And they have the Proc Lightning McQueen 
which we had something very similar yesterday in um, a Lion King version. <laughs> and then they have this like vegetables with laughing cow cheese sauce. Oh my God, I'm foaming at the mouth. This place better open or I will not be happy. That's where we're at. We're back at Disneyland. Um, yeah, so my laughing cow cheese lunch didn't open and we are so hungry and so we try to find some other options and the only things that are open were like a french fry stand cookies and a burger so we're back at disneyland and i'm gonna go get my uh bolognese lasagna there's goofy now we're going through the Discovery Arcade, which is pretty cool. While waiting for the line for Pizzeria Bella Notte, we uh, got a crap. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, it's oozing. We made it to Pizzeria Bella Notte. Also, anytime you want to go inside somewhere, you have to scan this QR code and uh, it's for contact tracing. We <laughs> we finally got food. <laughs> I am a whole different person now. And for 31 euros, we each got two drinks, two main dishes, two sides, and a dessert. Okay, now we're gonna head back to Walt Disney Studio and uh, try to ride some try to ride some rides. And we're still bent on getting the Laughing Cow food. You arrive at Walt Disney Studios and you are looking for some food this here is like one of the only places that you can actually get a proper meal but that's if you want like a burger at 9 30 in the morning uh, otherwise there's a stand that sells like cookies and drinks if that's what you want at 9 30 in the morning not judging We're back at Walt Disney Studios and we're getting in line for a photo pass, which is going to magically insert a stitch into our shot. Oh, we have one minor complaint about the photo pass. So it cost us how many dollars? Eighty dollars, and uh, we're a little disappointed at the <laughs> low number of photographers that they have at the park. Uh, there are a lot of characters though, but a lot of them are selfie stations, so you have to take the photo yourself. So here's one of those uh, photo pass stations, or that's called a magic shot. And then it will tell you uh, who they will insert into the shot. So here we have Stitch. All right, look who decided to open up. We're gonna go ask what time they close. Because you know, they like to close at whatever time that they want to close, so we gotta make sure.
Okay, now we are in line for our Precious Coaster and we got a standby pass, which we were five minutes late to when they still let us in. Yeah, not all rides have this option, but this ride is really busy and really long. So we'll see how long it actually takes even with a um, standby pass. That looks like this. This line is insane in the membrane. Look at the chairs that we're sitting on. Ah, they're so cute. Your little champagne or wine caps. Look how cute this coat hanger is. It's a fork. It's a fork. On some bottle caps. Oh, yeah. We are here at Shea Remy Bistro and I am so obsessed with the decor of this place. It's like we're little rats. We've shrunk into be little rats. You are that rat. We ordered a, a lot of food. <laughs> I think it should be good. Well, I'm so excited. This is the restaurant that I was most excited for when we came. This is hard. Is bread supposed to be this hard? Mm. Is bread supposed to be this hard? <laughs> we ordered the uh, duck, duck pate. Duck pate. And for moi, we got the salad uh, with the poached egg and some radish and tomatoes. Yum! And we got a uh, wine. That's like vintage, it's a vintage wine for uh, this restaurant. It had the name Remy in it, so that's why I ordered it. Cheers. Cheers. Sante. Mm, this salad is so good. There's like little bits of cheese and, ooh, crispy radishes. Hey, lay off my cheese. It's a poached egg. There's a rat stealing my food. Jose gave me some of his duck pate. And he dipped it in some wine sauce. Mmm. Like it? good. Mmm. Go with bread. Wow, that's good. It's uh, not as ducky as I thought. Mm. Chef Remy, compliment to the chef. Whoa, baby. The food has arrived. I have my uh, grilled steak with french fries and a bernet sauce. And also it has a ratatouille. And for him, he got a, mm, what is it? Double filet. Oh, a filet, and then with uh, the brie sauce. And he also got ratatouille. And we got the cutest little ketchup for our frites. Obviously, 
when it went in Shea Remy's, you gotta eat the ratatouille. And also we got sat right next to uh, where everybody unloads from the ratatouille ride. So we could be trolling on everybody coming out. And for dessert, we got the apple tart, uh, which looks like it has some kind of vanilla sauce around it. This looks so good. And it's made in-house according to our server. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, Let's make sure we get this like cream. Everybody was kicked out, so it's just us and Remy. Finally got it, Babus. Me too, open it, Babus. It's hot. It's hot. Well, here's the laughing cow, also known as La Vache La Vaca que ríe. There's a there's a Lightning McQueen in there somewhere. Okay. Oh hey, look where we're at. We're back in Disneyland because Walt Disney Studios closed at 6, which should be illegal. Oh my god. Oh yeah, baby. So we said we wanted something sweet. I think we found it. So we desperately needed something sweet and what we found is that it's impossible to find any kind of food here. So annoying. So we went to Delicious sweets, coffee cerise, and we got um, some unique desserts. So we got a Mickey meringue with dipped in chocolate, and then we got the we moved to the Mickey, which is marshmallow. Oh, look at that! I thought we were done, but they also sell fudge, and I'm kind of obsessed with anything banana flavored right now. So we got the fudge, that's uh, uh, chocolate, a banana, or chocolate or banana. All you need is one bite. You're good. You don't need this brick. Marshmallow, Mickey's head, dipped in chocolate. you would expect from a chocolate cup of marshmallow. Aw, so cute.
tell Cheyenne. The general store, aka our souvenir shop, and a coffee house, aka Starbucks. Here is where you um, check into the hotel, and right over here is where they're gonna ask for your COVID vaccination card or your health pass so they can give you this wristband. It's eight o'clock and we made it back to our hotel. We have a couple more hours left in our energy bank. So we're going to go to the Red Garter Saloon and have some drinks because they close at one o'clock. In case you forget to buy some souvenirs, you can come here and buy some. Or you want to dress up because you're in a cowboy themed hotel, then you can buy bullseye here. And these are so cute. This is Pegasus from Hercules. One of my favorite Disney movies. Well, actually, because I like the soundtrack. There's a good Michael Bolton song in there. I can go the distance. I love all of these little baby, uh, baby characters. And they're swaddled, oh my god. So cute. Sometimes I forget to look up because I'm too busy looking at all the stuff to buy in front of me but there's always such cool details here is the lobby of the reception pretty cool oh and we are heading to the red carter red garter saloon i can't read This is their menu. Wow. Yum, yeah, I'll take, I'll take one of each. Oh my God. Only 10 euros. Paris is a bargain, guys. Our drinks have arrived. Isn't this so pretty? So I ordered the Cactus Jack, which has gin, orange juice, and strawberry syrup, and some other things that I can't pronounce. And then for Josito, uh, we got a virgin lotta even though the alcoholic one was only one year or more, we decided to go with this one. 